Okay, for the triangle uh, that's in a circle inside of the triangle or a uh, sphere inside of a cone, okay, I drew it up uh, in 2D because it's easier to see. If I go from the center of this uh, circle here, okay, and come back down here, we know that this is R. We were given that this is R, big R, the distance across here. Oops, let me draw that a little bit neater. Okay. okay, we know that the height, overall height is H. Okay, let me add a little bit of pizzazz into this. Okay, and I'm going to label this is A and this is B, this distance right here for this little smaller triangle. In other words, side R, side A, side B. And I'm going to note that this is a right angle and this is a right angle and that the two of these are H and the long side here and this little R triangle are common triangles or similar triangles. And therefore, I can write that A over R equals H over R. The ratios will hold true for both of these. I'm going to call that equation 1. And therefore, I can calculate what A would be. It would just be R times H over R. Okay? And I might also note that A squared plus r squared equals b squared. That's this little triangle right here that I have. Okay. And I know that b will equal h minus r. That's the full length of this minus the radius right here. Okay. And I can take that information and my value for a, okay, and plug it back into. Two and four, let me just label these. These are this is two. This is three. And this is four. So I'm going to plug two and four into three. And I'm going to rewrite this as R H over big. That's my A squared. Okay. Plus R squared. Right there. Will equal H minus R. It's an H. It's a terrible H. Let me rewrite that a little bit neater. H minus R squared. I'm going to expand this out and I'm going to end up with R squared over H over R squared plus r squared <clears throat> will equal h squared plus r squared minus 2rh. I can see pretty quickly that these r's will cancel, these r squared terms. Okay, And I can simplify this equation to be, let me write down here, R squared H over R squared plus two H R minus H squared equals zero. And once again, I have a quadratic equation that can easily be solved. Okay, 4R, so I solve the quadratic, 4R equals, and choose the positive answer. I know H and I know big R, those are given. I got H here, 2H here, so I've got all my terms. I can solve for R, and then I know the, the diameter of the circle. 
Now what I can do after I've done that is I can plot this, which is one of the things that you're seeing here. Let me just drag this over. I can plot this and make this figure. But I could also do it in 3D. And that, that's one of the things that will convince me that this is actually correct, is making plots like this. And then I'm pretty sure that I've got it correct when I've done that. So you can see those are the techniques. Uh, I'll leave it to you uh, to have at this problem.